Hello YouTube family, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm gonna read to you another devotional today. This reading is coming out of my um, Turning Points booklet. This devotional is entitled Angels Beside Us. Now I'll be reading from my Bible, Acts 27, 21-26. But after long abstinence from God, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Men, you should have listened to me, and not have sailed from Crete and incurred this disaster and loss. And now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. For there stood by me this night an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I serve, saying, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar, and indeed God has granted you all those who sail with you. Therefore take heart, men, for I believe, God, that, that it will be just as it was told me. However, we must run around aground on a certain island. Alright, that's it for the Bible reading. Now the devotion. Acts 27-23 Last night an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I serve stood beside me. Be careful about using the word angel carelessly. Have you ever watched someone render an act of kindness and said of her, she's just an angel? Or perhaps you appreciated a medical worker who helped you through a crisis. You might say, he was God's angel to me. Remember, angels are not human beings. They are a special species created by God, living beings, that are not human, though they may at times assume human form. The book of Hebrews says, Are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? During our Lord's life on earth, angels helped him at many points, announcing his birth comforting him in the desert, strengthening him in Gethsemane, and being ready to rescue him from crucifixion. If he had only asked, they rejoiced in his resurrection and moved the stone to reveal his empty tomb. Angels played a role in Christ's earthly life just as they do in ours. They work to fulfill God's purpose. They are not human, they are superhuman and closer to you today than you realize. It is a whisper thin veil that separates the nature from the supernatural, meaning divine activity is all around us. Oh, amen. Great reading. Hope you all enjoyed the reading. Hope it meant something to you. And until I read to you again, God bless you all. Goodbye.